Today, we're going off-roading. We've gone to Roush Creek Off-Road Park, an off-road park near Roush Creek. I have brought my Hummer. Those people all know what they're doing. I don't. So this will be an interesting experience. Fortunately, we are going with someone who does know what he's doing. This is Phil. Hello. Phil is airing down his tires. I don't even know how to air down my tires. Now, Phil is so legitimate that he has things like a red bag with stuff in it, and some D-rings, and a rope. Those are items that you need when you're going off-roading, apparently. I've got an in-car camera to give you minute-by-minute minute impressions of off-roading. Minute one, Phil is going to kill us. Yes, things started off pretty rocky. Well, this is already a bad decision. And then my off-roading inexperience was quickly challenged. Now, Phil, don't you feel like, like this is gonna kill us? We're taking on the first little uh, hill here, but I think I'll be killed. But at least I'll die doing what I loved. Making amateur YouTube videos, oh my God. But I didn't die. Yeah. So we pressed on. Well, we're now about 10 minutes into this. So I've been wishing I could go home for about nine minutes. Whoa! Oh my God! And then came the fun part, water. Phil has just gone through a puddle of indeterminate depth. He was okay. I may not be okay, but here's the problem. I don't know if Phil's car can pull me out if I get stuck. So, that's a good situation. Ah! Well, that was, that was anticlimactic. Doug, look at it, I have some bigger puddles than that on my street. <laughs> that's huge! So, I decided to try again. I've just asked Phil. I said to him, can I get stuck here? He said, no, and then he amended it and said, but if you do, getting stuck is the best part. After I discovered why I should always leave the windows up, we pressed on and things became a little more difficult. I'm, there's no doubt I'm gonna die. Like I, this is it. This is where I die, in a Hummer at an off-road park in rural Pennsylvania. Oh, I lived. I lived. Then it was back to the rocks. Rocks are no. Oh, rocks are not my best friend. Fuck! I mean, darn. And then it got a little scary. Am I good? Get Phil. I got out of the car to examine my position and discovered that one wheel was completely off the ground. Yeah, we'll put this wheel back on the ground. But. but the Hummer got itself free. And we pushed on. Well, Phil's already tried to kill us once. It's hard to know what's coming. I can only assume more death. Who just took out a redwood?
Phil's going this way. Hi, Phil. The Hummer, the Hummer's actually, it turns out the Hummer's a little wide. Did you guys know that? Oh. Phil just stopped us and he said, which way do you want to go? And I said, well, I don't know. And he said, left looks harder. And then he turned left. So I'm glad he, glad he did it, left it up to me there. Now we're going down a road that's a little bit, Phil said it's less rocky. I feel live. Late in the day, we decided to check the maps. M3 up to, to T6. T6 or T. T6 is like Volvo, so maybe that's a good sign. Yeah, affliction is actually the hardest trail in the Northeast. That looks scary. Isn't so it says. <laughs> I don't want to be involved in that. It's, it just scares me on the map. And then we continued on for a little longer. we got it. This car is amazing off-road and it's so much fun to see one of these things actually out on the trails with all the Wrangler guys and the Toyota guys. 